have been unfortunate to find out after the fact. channel. If you're new here, we're working through a renovation on a 1956 Calcraft Mini Beef Ravioli. And uh, we're getting to the point where we're going to be putting some paneling on the inside of the wall, which is actually what gives the wall most of its structural strength. The wall studs are really just there to keep those panels from buckling and to give you spots to attach things like your windows and uh, your cabinetry on the inside too. That part of it's pretty straightforward. You just glue it, tack it on. Um, another thing we're trying to do is to figure out what's the finish on these walls gonna look like. To do that, we have to know a bit of what our interior is going to look like as well. So I'm kind of at a point where what I have to do is pretty simple, but I have to make some decisions. So last week we um, were trying to decide on some finishes. We were playing around with amber shellac and you know just to look at this uh, to me it's very very orange but uh, if we compare it to what was originally in there those are actually a really good match for one another. This is two coats of amber shellac. Uh, you know the originals probably changed a little bit over the years but I'd probably do at least one more coat on this anyway. Yeah I don't know it, it looks nice. I'm, I'm not really into this really orangey finish. Uh, if you were really doing a period correct restoration though, this is, this is what you would do on most of these. But overall, not a huge fan of this. What I did really like was the polycrylic because it's essentially clear and uh, it really brings out the grain and the nice color of the birch. Um, it doesn't have quite the same sort of iridescence that like the amber shellac does. Uh, but I do really like the way it looks, so I would love to do this. But, uh, you know, one thing that is very important to know before I move on to anything else with this, you know, putting paneling on or anything like that, is once you put those panels on, you take your uh, flush trim bit and your router and you zip around the whole thing, you zip around your window openings, and that way those panels are an exact match for the wall. But what is very important to know before you put any of those panels on, do your windows fit? So since the weather's gonna be nice for a few days, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my uh, wall back out and I'm gonna take my windows. And I'm gonna fit them in there and just make sure they still <laughs> go where uh, I think they're supposed to. Simon's sneaking up on me here. I think maybe he wants to be on camera. You wanna be on camera? <laughs> what do you have to say? It went through the car. Car went and crashed, and then it went to the car wash. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to get down? Loves the car wash. Yeah, this is why you uh, measure first. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess I put this one on the wrong side of the line. I bet it's supposed to be on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna unscrew this. I'm gonna move it to this side of the line, screw it back in place so it catches that. And we should be good. I would have been unfortunate to find out after the fact.
It's good. Okay, so today's the day we finally put a panel on this wall. I'm gonna start by putting some glue down on the wall and uh, then we're gonna use some uh, three quarter inch brad nails. I'm still not 100% certain what I'm doing on the finish on these, but um, those little tiny holes will be easy to fill and cover up and some of them will have trim over them, some of them will be behind cabinets so it won't really matter in the end. You know, the important thing to remember is that uh, nails are not what's actually holding these together. Nails are just acting as a clamp, essentially, to uh, keep the panel securely down while the glue dries. The glue is what's actually doing the work. So, to delay it any further, let's get some glue on there. Okay, so with that first panel tacked down, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my trim router to router out the outside circumference so that I can uh, nail that edge down as well, aforementioned trim router, and a flush cut bit. Uh, so what these are, if you don't know, is it's uh, got a little bearing on it and that presses up against whatever you're cutting and then the blade cuts whatever's here to the same width is that. So it uh, works really well and uh, it's actually one of the most fun things you can do on one of these campers. Okay, so that panel's done. I need to go get three more sheets of plywood to do the uh, next side and uh, cool off a little bit. Why didn't I move my canopy over here? Sometimes I'm just a dummy. Today's haul was three panels at uh, $38 a panel. The thing that really worries me is when it comes to building the cabinets, I usually do them out of uh, half inch. Uh, they've got half inch there and it's $96 a panel. Three quarter inch is $98 a panel. Seems to me like there ought to be a uh, the half inch stuff ought to be priced somewhere between the $36 panel and the $98 panel, but apparently supply and demand, y'all. Yeah, so this little piece right here actually uh, split, so I'm gonna take this, uh, this piece here off, and then this will come off, and I'm gonna uh, glue it, screw it, and uh, get it on the wall. It's not a lot heavier, but it is a bit heavier. Sanded the curve on both sides to remove any excess glue that might still be on there. And uh, now I'm going to lay down my panels and figure out how uh, I've 
designed those to be oriented. I'm going to have to rip at least one of them down uh, to fill in the part behind the closet. Uh, so that'll kind of be its own panel, if I remember right. So you won't see more seam, any more seams than you would on the other side because it'll be hidden behind that closet. So you might've noticed on the other door, I didn't route out the windows just yet. I'm kind of trying to leave those panels as solid as possible. I'm definitely not gonna cut out the door until I got it uh, on the camper because that uh, will make that whole wall wanna go. <laughs> okay, I was actually a little bit wrong. The gap, there's supposed to be a gap right there. So we'll fill in above and below the, the door with a little piece of scrap from that pile over there. Uh, so disregard my earlier comments about leaving the doorway closed up. You know, give me a break. I'm in a hurry. It's really hot. I think I mentioned that. Man, it's hot. Uh, it's gonna be a really hot day today. And I'm wasting time, because it's hot. Did I mention it's hot? It's hot. And it's starting to look dark in the sky. Well, it looks like we're uh, getting called on account of rain. So, got that first panel on. That went pretty easy. Um, the next two won't take long, but I can't do it in the rain. So, should be done for next week's video anyway. <laughs> yeah, thanks for following along. Remember, new videos come out every Sunday. So, make sure and like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week when we have completed walls.